everyone, my name is Steven and I'm from SKUIQ. Today, I'll be providing a quick walkthrough on how to start the process of onboarding with SKUIQ so you can link your Shopify store and your TikTok shop to sync orders and products. To start, we're going to be on the TikTok shop seller center and we're going to assume that all the setup has been done already as far as your tax ID, your shipping, your warehouses, uh, and we're ready to go to uh, integrate with SKUIQ. So if you look up SKUIQ in the service market, you should see us come up. Um, this is our app and we're going to want to connect to this and this will start the onboarding process. Um, we're going to simulate that and start the onboarding process uh, as a new seller. And this will uh, send us to SKUIQ so that we can register for a new account. It's important to note that you'll want to uh, make sure you haven't signed up with SKUIQ before. Uh, and then once you get to this registration page, you'll want to enter in all your uh, information that you'll be using for your new store. So we'll put in our email, our password, phone number, select our time zone, uh, and all this good stuff. Set the uh, business name. As this is a test store, I'll name it as such. Um, we can select industries, our websites, uh, and then we're going to want to agree to the terms of service and privacy policy and also prove that we're not a robot. Uh, and once we hit get started, this will go ahead and uh, continue the process uh, and generate our confirmation email that we'll use to uh, start the onboarding wizard and continue our setup. Uh, so we've, sent, we've generated our email. We're going to go ahead and accept that email. Uh, here, once we have hit confirm email, we will be put into the TikTok shop SKUIQ wizard. Uh, and this helpful wizard, wizard will um, continue our setup and, and provide us with all the steps we need to, to get fully functioning. Uh, when you get started here, uh, you have two options. One is schedule consultation. Uh, this will send a, it will start a message with support to um, set up a meeting in case you have questions or if you want help with setup anything of that nature. Um, but if you're ready to get started on your own, we'll just go ahead and we'll hit this start setup button. Uh, and from here, we're going to connect to Shopify. Uh, so all we'll need to do is put the name of our Shopify store in here that we'll be using. Uh, and then we'll be able to uh, go over to Shopify and authorize and connect. So I'm going to put in a little test store here uh, and connect. This will uh, authorize the app on Shopify and it'll send us back to SKUIQ. Once we've uh, completely uh, authorized uh, Shopify, we're good to go. This will no longer be editable. Uh, we'll say that we're connected and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. So we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, at this point, we're going to uh, choose which products we want to actually push into TikTok shop. So um, the system will have uh, read the products uh, from Shopify and it will display them so that we can select which ones we actually want to sync. Um, so here we're displaying uh, the 10 products that I have set up in our uh, little test Shopify store here. Uh, and you can either select all the items uh, from your store or you can go ahead and, and pick individually. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll just grab these top four here. Uh, and then once we've selected the items we want, we can go ahead and we can continue to the next step, uh, which is categorizing products for TikTok shop. Now, TikTok Shop requires category, uh, categories for all your products. Uh, so what we do here is we give you an, a little step to uh, categorize them before pushing. Um, so based on the items that have been sent in, we'll see a TikTok Shop category suggestion. As we can see here, this is a t-shirt and it has suggested uh, t-shirts. Uh, this one, however, is a, a vinyl album, so you know, like a music album, uh, but it has it categorized under photo albums. Um, to change this, we can just simply go ahead, go ahead and uh, type in what, we, what we'd like it to be categorized under and select from the drop-down. So we'll do that for these two items. And now that we've confirmed all of our categories are correct and we have the items we want, we can go ahead and go to the next step. Uh, and this will be kind of like a summary of uh, the products you've chosen. So you'll see that uh, we have chosen four products with two categories. And once we go ahead and start syncing, uh, that'll start the process of actually connecting these products. Okay, so we are now syncing. We can click off this little modal and we'll go to return to dashboard. Uh, this will give us a couple more pop-ups with some information. 
Uh, and if we close out of these, we'll see that our statuses are syncing, uh, and we should be seeing our products that we selected uh, within SKU IQ. So if we go to products here, uh, we'll see the products that we decided to push. Uh, we see the four here. And on this side, we'll see that the uh, e-commerce is Shopify and we are successfully syncing over to TikTok Shop. So these four products should be within TikTok Shop now. Uh, and if we go ahead and we check TikTok, we should see them fall in. Here we go. Um, so why don't we check one of these and make sure it's correct. Uh, we'll just check this bottom one here. Uh, we have a quantity of 55. We have a stock of 12 or a price of 12.99. Let's go and make sure that's what we had set. All right, 12.9955. Looks like we're uh, we're good to go. So at this point, you should all be you should be all set up, connected, syncing. Um, you can edit items, add items, uh, perform orders. Um, and I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.